the Sports Review London Boxing News for the Capital C, here with middleweight Billy Joe Saunders. Bill, we all just heard the news at roughly the same time there. What's your reaction off the back of that? Well, look, I've had Frank Warren now give him the contract first week in September. I've had the contract to sign it. I've said it in, but he's getting well paid. He knows he's getting well paid. He's not going to get paid like this. Um, he keeps finding little excuses to pull out, butt out. And now he knows that, like I say, everyone's preparing now. This is it. The press conference today, when it's announced, it's on. And he knows it's on. If he pulls it after this press conference today, people's going to slag him. Simple as that. So these little excuses are the contract. There's nothing wrong with the contract. A minor stupid things that, trust me, Frank's dealt in a lot bigger fights than these, and he's sorted a lot bigger problems out than this. Um, but listen, he just don't want to fight. He just wants me to keep mentioning his name, but his name is to the side now at 5 pm today. I see it's done with. I'll move on to bigger and better things. Um, just interviewed the uh, trainer Jimmy Tibbs outside, Bill, and um, he basically was saying he, you know, give you a nudge a good while ago and sort of said, don't, don't, don't get your ropes up too much on this fight happening, you know. Jimmy's been here twice for his dad before. You know, Jimmy knows how they work, Jimmy knows the weaknesses, and he knows what they're like. He knows when they're going to be late. He knows a lot about them. That's what they realise. And to be honest with you, I think that they're feared of Jimmy a bit as well. You know, I think that because Jimmy's knowledge with the Eubanks uh, is second to none. You know, he's had, he's had one fight with them, two fights with them, where one, Watson was smashing him, smashing him from round one to round, you know, till he got caught. You know, it's a shame, but that's what happened. Then he had Ben, where Ben definitely beat him, but didn't get the decision. I mean, Jimmy knows how they work, and, um, you know, I listen to whatever Jimmy says, I listen to. And I did take that in. And, um, but he didn't need to tell me that, because I knew, I knew that he didn't, I knew he didn't really want it. He just wants me to keep talking about it. Listen. If I could get Golovkin to mention my name every time he fights, or, or get Dan, or get um, uh, Miguel Cotto to mention my name every time he fights, I'll be over the moon. Because it's bringing my name against fight people, it's always there. So at uh, 5 o'clock today, I don't mention him once, and I don't want people to talk about him to me. Okay. Because he's at the back. Then I move on, I go flying ahead to do what I want to do. Bill, in your heart of hearts, you're a straight talking man. Gut feeling, what happens at 5 pm? 5 pm, he don't, he don't sign the contract. He don't sign the contract. My gut feeling. Um, because, for one, it's too soon for him. He knows it's miles too soon for him. And he's never going to be in my league. It's just, it's the only ever chance he's got in boxing against me, and everybody's got it, is a puncher's chance. And that's it. End the story for him. Bill, does it, I know you're on Twitter and you do some social media. Does it shock you how many people are sort of jumping on board? Sort of saying, you know, you bank. You bank this and you bank that against yourself. <coughs> well, listen, I think some people go on, you know, they, they don't want to upset his dad. But where me, I'm a straight talking man. If someone, if someone wants to upset me and tell me the truth about myself, so be it. I can take it like a man if it's the truth. If I think it's not, that's my only opinion. But I think so many people want to see him get beat over his, over his arrogance and whatever else. Yeah. Not. I think that, you know, people want to see him get beat that bad. It's just, it's, it's irrelevant really to bring it up because I know that he's not going to fight. I know he's not going to fight. So it looks like I'm going to be world champion on the 29th because uh, I can't say too much about it now, but of Frank, course, yeah. yeah, fine. And as far as your mindset, are you happy that you found that, you know, at this point in time? Because well, yeah. your camps do start, <coughs> when did Jimmy say? Was uh, it? We're in camp now, but we go away for right. two weeks. Um, so yeah, really, I mean, I'm pleased really now that I know that he's, he's, he's definitely saying, well, listen, uh, I'm not, we're standing the week not to the fight. Then they've got to bring some little foreigner in for me to fight because I don't want that. Because if I want to, I can. I can say to Frank, right, Frank, go, I'll, have, I'll pick him, I'll pick him, I'll pick him, and look good doing it. But I don't want to do it. I want to fight the best. To be the best, you have to fight the best and beat the best. As simple as that. I mean, you're not going to get nowhere in life fighting bums. Nothing at all. You've got to learn nothing out of that. I mean, listen, if you want to step up to the plate and prove yourself, get a name out his dad did, fight the best. Going back a bit, Bill, when you walked into this press conference today, you see sitting there, tell by the look on your face, saying it weren't quite white. Um, when that news hit you, was that just water off a duck's back? No, listen, it, it hit when, he, when Frank told me about it. He was like, listen, from day one, I've always had it in the back of my head. Listen, don't 
get, don't go above your city because I know in your own backing it up that this is 70% you might fold. You know, and uh, the only reason why I thought he was going to go through it is because obviously the money. But, you know, obviously that he clearly, clearly don't fancy the job because he would take it. And uh, there's not really a lot more else I can say about it, really. But, but that's it. He's got five o'clock till tonight to sign it. Time's ticking away, and that's it. Are you happy in as much that if this? If he's not signed, it doesn't happen by 5pm, you've drawn the line and you fight for a world title. Then, listen, then negotiations goes on for me to fight for a world title. What hell more happier could I get than exactly. that? Win you know, with him, it's only me pleasing the fans, and it's me pleasing the fans and putting him to the side. I'm gaining nothing out of beating him. I'm gaining nothing. Nothing at all out of beating him. In boxing-wise, I'm gaining nothing. Um, but, like I say, if he's to the side, I'll get, I'll, I'll get so excited I probably won't sleep tonight. But, you know, I've got to talk to Frank about that. Well, he's got to talk to someone about it, and I'll talk to him about it. You know, it's a bit different time zone at the minute, and um, we go from there. Bill, listen, mate, thank you for your time. Top man, thank you.